Hey guys, what's going on? I'm back here with another how-to video. This one's going out to the Apple TV AirPlay. Uh, you know how when you uh, AirPlay your Mac or your uh, MacBook Pro into your Apple TV, it'll lag, the video lags or the audio lags. Now that's annoying. So what you're gonna wanna do to fix this, is there's actually like three steps. So first you're gonna wanna click on the icon where the Apple TV is at. Click on your device, your Apple TV. In my case, I'm using the Apple Theater. Once you click on the Apple Theater, you go back again and click on the uh, Apple uh, AirPlay icon again. And then click on Use as Separate Display or Extended Monitor, monitor depending on if you're updated on your software or not. Uh, once you do that, uh, again, you're going to want to click again on the icon where the AirPlay is at and click on open display preferences to get this menu right here where I'm at. Um, so once you do that, uh, you're going to want to click on arrangement and you're going to want to put the one that has a little white bar on the top, you're going to put you're going to want to put that as your second display. And the main one is going to be the Apple TV uh, making it to actually lag less making it like its own display so once you do that uh oh another thing yeah you uh before you keep on going with the next step you're gonna want to turn off your um how do you call it the um under scan i think it's called so you go into your settings on your on your apple tv and click on airplay airplay display under scan and you want to switch that off. So again, this is these are just steps that you gotta follow as you go. So uh, keep on checking your monitor, see, have a movie playing, and see if, if it's still lagging. If it's still lagging, then keep on going with the steps as we as we go through it through this video. So once you turn that off, you're gonna want to go into your Apple TV display preferences. Uh, the way you do that is you, you click on gather. Windows on the bottom when it says on where it shows your iMac, and you're gonna want to scale starting all the way from the bottom from 800 to 600 until you find the proper one that's not lagging or making your your uh, monitor or screen lag on your TV. Uh, if you use the default display, sometimes it will not work. It'll it'll do that, but for some reason this this is what happened with mine. As soon as I started doing this. Uh, mine worked at 180 times 720 and uh, it worked but then I switched back to regular and it was still working properly um, so I'm not sure if the Apple TV is just like um, pretty much just I guess fixing itself or something I'm not sure but anyways this actually fix, fixed my problem with the lagging of the Apple TV um, and hopefully it'll, it'll help fix yours as well. Now, for the iPad, for the iPad, since the new update came out, uh, it started doing the same thing. I'm not sure why. Instead of just sending the video that you want to AirPlay from the iPad to to the Apple TV, it was mirroring the iPad, and that, and that was actually doing the same thing as the Mac, which is not good. But one thing that I found that that I saw that helps is naming your Apple TV if you have more than one or even if you have one Apple TV name it so you're gonna want to go into uh, settings general about and name and uh, name your Apple TV I, I noticed that this actually kind of helped it uh, to stream video more a little bit more better for some reason I'm not sure why I'm just telling you my experience Anyways, guys, hopefully this will help you guys out. Make sure to leave a like and a comment below. And subscribe for more how-to and tech videos.